okay so welcome to this video so in this video we'll be talking about the uh, principles of dynamics so in this video we'll be discussing about the definition of dynamics a little historical background of um, dynamics the two uh, divisions or two branches of dynamics and the quantities and definite and the terms that we are going to encounter in our study of dynamics so first we will define uh, dynamics what is dynamics so just type in here in our board okay so let's just move this one first so dynamics let's just arrange that one later on okay. it's a branch of mechanics Okay, let's just arrange this text box here. Let's see. Let's start to finish it. It is. Okay, so dynamics is the branch of mechanics which um, deals with the study of uh, bodies in motion so uh, dynamics so this are a branch of mechanics so this is a branch of mechanics that deals with the study of bodies in motion so those are the important terms in this definition so Mechanics, so mechanics is, is this is a uh, part of physics in which we deals about force, um, displacement, um, length, um, masses, and time. So it it mainly um, focuses on the physical um, uh, the physical phenomenon of uh, objects. Okay. Then also the it is a the dynamic uh, dynamics is the study of bodies in motion so in this branch of mechanics we are now um, we are now focusing on those bodies that are moving so in in statics the other branch of mechanics we are mainly um, concerned on the forces or on the effects of force in uh, bodies that are rigid or that that is uh, on rest now in dynamics we are now focusing on the effects of uh, force or uh, certain physical um, quantities if it is applied to a body which is moving. Okay, so a little historical background of dynamics. So dynamics is uh, new in terms of other um, uh, of other um, study of physics. Because um, it is uh, it, it it is just begun during the time of Galileo Galilei, so it is much um, uh, newer than than the other uh, branches of physics. So some uh, date back from the age of the Greeks or the Romans. So statics itself has its roots, especially on um, the time of the the Greeks, Romans, and the other civilization. But dynamics has begun or has started in the time of Galileo Galilei. Then also, dynamics has a slower 
um, progress because uh, it has some constraints, especially the constraints on measuring time. So, dynamics measures three quantities. Okay, so it measures length, force, and the last one is time. So, um, before and during the time of Galileo Galilei, we have precise measuring tool for length. So, we could use a roller or a measuring tape. For force, so we have the scale, we have the triple beam balance, but in with relative to time, the measuring instrument precisely enough to measure time was not yet invented during the time of Galilei. So it is a question mark. So how would you describe a certain phenomenon which is um, which you need to measure the length, the force applied to it, and the time if one of those three quantities you cannot measure precisely. So science, physics, and mechanics are precise. So it, it needs precision. So how would you do that in dynamics if you don't have precise measurement of time? So that's why the advance or the progress of dynamics has been halted because during those times there is no um, there is no a uh, precise measuring device for time and also the there is an accepted philosophy when it comes to bodies in motion at the time so the one of those philosophy is a uh, very common in those time and for us also we can observe that uh, with our naked eye is that if you are going to drop so it's just draw here so for example this is a building this is the ground level so you are here above if you are going to drop a ball and a feeder so it's just a, a, a feeder so if you are going to drop those two common sense will tell us that this ball is much heavier than this feeder therefore the ball will drop first and the feeder will come last so this first and this will be the last so that is true we could observe that every day but galileo galilei um defined this true uh, this um common sense because he said that object when applied with the force of gravity will come down at the same rate okay so the only thing that hinders or that um that make the feeder drop more slowly than the ball is that it it accumulate or it has more air resistance and this theory was proven through experimentation in a vacuum. So in a vacuum, there is no air resistance, there is no air. So two, these two bodies are dropped and precisely they drop at the same time. And also he conducted his own experiment during the time when he climbed the Leaning Tower of Pisa and he had proven this one. But during those time, people are much skeptical. So they, they always believe in the term common sense as long as you can observe it as long as it can be repeated at uh, many times and it and it could be hold as true that because that is how um, philosophy works but with uh, the context to science so it is not how we should observe objects so because if as if a certain this we could go back to mathematics if a certain solution is uh, good to be true then it could not uh, it could have been false or it could be false so this is common sense that heavier object will drop much faster than lighter ones but if we remove air resistance then the two objects will drop at the same time okay now we will 
go to the two branches of Dynamics. So let's just add a page here. Okay. So there are two branches of Dynamics. So the first one is Kinematics. So kinematics. So it it is um, defined. So it is defined or used to define the motion of a particle or a body without. considering or without consideration of the forces causing the motion. Okay, so kinematics is defined as the study of motion of a particle or a body without consideration of the forces causing the motion. Okay. So, essentially, the um, kinematics only considers the relationship between displacement. So, it only concerns, concerns the relationship between displacement and velocity so it's not and but also um, acceleration okay. so it only concerns the relationship between displacement velocity and acceleration so there is no consideration of the force that causing the motion. So the uh, kinematics only focuses on displacement, velocity, and acceleration. So if we if we are going to consider the forces acting or making that uh, body move or causing the motion, then we are now considering or, or we are now on the field or on the branch of dynamics which is called kinetics okay so it relates so relates relates the force acting on a body to its mass and acceleration. So in kinetics, so we are now considering the motion of the body and the force that is acted on the body with regards or in, in relation to the mass and also to the increase or to the decrease of or the to, to or to the change of acceleration on that body so that is now kinetics so in in kinematics so there is no consideration of the force therefore we are only considering displacement velocity and acceleration while in kinetics there is now the consider, consideration of the force acting on the body with the, uh, which we relate to its mass and acceleration. So those are the two branches of dynamics. Okay. Now we will go to definitions. Okay. So we are be talking about body particles uh, on this entire video. So we just first define what is a particle. Okay. So a particle it denotes or so it means 
a body of point size. So, when you say point size, it is relatively small. Wherein, if if a certain um of a certain force or a certain quantity is applied on those on those particle, every part of those particle will have the same um will have the same uh, reaction to that force. So that is a particle. Then we have also body. So we will define body as a system of particles system of particles so which form an object of considerable size that is a part a body a body is a system of particles which form an object of considerable size so that is a body now a if you are going to have a context or a, an, an example of this one so a stone in earth is considered to be a particle an earth is a body now if you are going going farther so in a solar system, a solar system is a body, is a system. So the particles inside the solar system are the planets and the sun. So therefore, the Earth will be the Earth is a particle of the solar system. So that is how we are going to um, define or to um, generalize particle and body. Now we'll go ahead to the quantities which are going to study. Or calculate in dynamics okay so the first one is we will consider displacement so displacement is a vector quantity vector quantity is a vector quantity and it is defined Okay, so displacement it is a vector quantity. So when you say vector quantity, therefore you have a magnitude and a direction. So it is defined as the change in distance of an object moving on a certain direction. So for example, if an object so we have have an example here so we have our object the movement of our object is a curve just like that so we have here this is our point a and this will be our point b then we will select a certain a certain ob, um, observation point that will be our um, point o okay so our object is moving in this direction a uh, curve direction so our first displacement is this one so let's just have this one in yellow first okay. and this one so that is how we observe and we are also observing the body moving okay so let's just have this one a little bit straight in a straight line so this is our displacement re relative to our observation at point A. This is our displacement 
relative to our observation at point B. And this is the actual change in uh, distance. So that, that, okay, so that is how we are going to quantify that one. If we are going to look, uh, if we are going to have a front view of this one, and we are considering that one only because we, we could only see the this one, the uh, change in distance of our particle moving from A to B. So we will have a straight line. Yes, uh, maybe we sub that one in white. Okay. We'll have a straight line in which this is our point A. This is our point B. Okay. So our displacement, this one, the movement from A to B. So this is our, um, I believe this is our um, point O. Will be our O. This will be our A. So our displacement will be, or the change in distance will be this one. Okay. This will be our change in distance. So this will be the displacement from the origin through SA. So to point A. So this will be this one. Okay, then the change of movement from A to B, so that will be everything. Okay. This will be our SB. So that is how we are going to have that observation if you are on point O. Now, we have the change in, this, in distance. Now, if our object is moving, so for example, our object is moving from A to B in that direction. Then it moved from backwards again from B to A. Our displacement is equal to zero. Why it is equal to zero? Because we are just moving backward. But our distance, so our distance is equal to, for example, this is, uh, let's just have this one as distance AB. So that will be twice of the distance of AB. Why? Because distance is scalar. So we are only considering the magnitude. So if going, going from A to B is equal to 3 meters, then going back is also equal to 3 meters. So the total distance that, that the object traveled is twice. So that will be 6 meters. But a displacement, the change in uh, distance is zero because from A to B, so you have a displacement of 3. Then from, from B to A, so the object just uh, is, uh, goes back to its original position, then that will be negative 3. And therefore, your change in um, this change in distance is equal to zero and your and change in distance is the displacement then therefore your displacement is equal to zero so that is how we quantify distance and displacement so in dynamics we are mainly concerned with the magnitude or no with the displacement which has the magnitude and a direction so if you only concern of the distance of the magnitude of a certain object so that you are considering now the distance. Okay, so it is also um, considerate that in our observation, we consider the change in um, distance or the displacement as a straight line. But in reality, that will be a curve line. So there is also another um, consideration of that, um, that one, which is uh, considered as the um, curvilinear um, acceleration. So we will also be tackling that one later on this uh, on, on few videos but as of now in, in simplicity we will just try to consider the change in distance as a straight line okay so the change in displacement so we just have a new 
piece of um, page here. So the change in this placement, so that will be um, delta S, okay? The change in this placement per unit time. So there is now changing of your displacement. So that is now what we called as velocity. So vel velocity is the change of um, uh, displacement per unit time. Compare that one to speed. So speed is only the change in distance or that will be distance per unit time. So displacement is a vector quantity. Therefore, your velocity is also a vector quantity. So this is the definition of velocity. So if you are going to consider the instantaneous velocity, so velocity is equal to the limit of delta s over delta t. So because it, it is instantaneous, so the delta t approaches zero. And we will now have the um, differential definition of velocity, which is ds dt. Okay, so this is all for velocity. Okay, so velocity is the change in displacement per unit time. It is a vector quantity, therefore it has a magnitude and also a direction. Same, uh, it, it, is, um, it is different from speed, wherein speed is just distance per unit time. Then the instantaneous velocity as t approaches, as delta t approaches to zero, is equal to ds dt, which is now the the, the the differential definition of velocity. Now we will go to acceleration. Acceleration. So acce acceleration is defined as the change in velocity per unit time. Okay, of course, in physics, there is a much, uh, what's it called that, a simpler definition of acceleration. So, then, but on this one, we're going to be the context of a, the mathematical um, uh, definitions of uh, displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Okay, so, if, because... Velocity is a scalar, uh, is a vector quantity. Therefore, your acceleration is also a vector quantity. So it has a direction and a magnitude. So usually we have the decreasing and increasing, um, decreasing and increasing acceleration. So if the acceleration is decreasing, it is negative. If it is increasing, then that is positive. Okay, then the instantaneous velocity ah uh, no the instantaneous acceleration is defined as the limit of delta v over delta t as delta t approaches to zero and it will be equal to so by the by using our knowledge in differential calculus this will be dv over dt okay so we have now that two of the three fundamental equations in dynamics so fundamental equations in dynamics so these equations are all dynamics okay let's just write this one legibly in dynamics so these three equations are mainly differential so first um, velocity is equal to ds over dt or the change in the displacement per unit time instantaneous then acceleration is equal to dv dt then we could also do this one farther so we could because our v is this one so we could have that one as d ds dt so we will get the second derivative the second derivative of our ds dt so it will end up that one as d second derivative of s dt squared so we have now our two 
if we are going to consider this um, two equations, this first two, we could eliminate t. So, for example, we will say that um, for this one, v is equal to dv dt. We are going to solve for dt. So, this will be v over dv. And for acceleration, the blue one here, a is equal to, I believe this is not, uh, this is not uh, dv but ds. Sorry for that one. Okay, so this will be ds. Okay, this will be ds. This will be ds. Okay, now for acceleration, this will be dv over dt. We are going to solve for dt. So this will be a over d, dt. If we are going to equate these two because we are solving both for dt. So we have v. Let's just have that one in red. Okay. okay so v ds is equal to a. This will be dv. That will be dv. Okay. So a little confusion on the this of this uh, uh, the d. No. Okay. So if you are going to simplify this one, we could have v dv is equal to a ds, and this is now the third equation of the three fundamental equations of dynamics. Okay. So. Of course, this equation will be much farther, um, um, much farther, or much ha ma will have um, other, other phases in which we are now going to consider the forces acting on the body. So for sure, these fundamental equations of uh, dynamic is uh, mainly applicable first in kinematics. But these three are very important. So they are the fundamentals. In other words, they are the basic, um, basic equations in dynamics. Okay, so thank you for watching this video, and I hope you learned something. And as always, have a good day.